Last spring, my husband and I visited the island of Sardinia in Italy. Sardinia is well known for its paradise-like beaches, crystal clear turquoise waters, and its fascinating rocky terrain. However, there was another special reason why we wanted to travel to Sardinia. Join us until the end in this episode where we will visit the small town of Sayulo to learn their secrets to long life while we continue exploring more about Sardinia's history, culture, and beautiful places. Welcome to our channel, Rain or Shine. Please don't forget to subscribe to follow along our adventures. Back in the year 2020, Chano and I read a book called Primate Change. In this interesting book, there were several pages that talked about Sardinia. What is special about this island? Why numerous scientists have visited this place to study the way of life of its people? Sardinia is one of the five blue zones in our planet. In these areas, there are many people reaching 100 years old or even more while staying fully functional and healthy. The life expectancy of the Blue Zones is higher than the global average of the world. After reading the book and watching several documentaries about the centenarians, I dreamt of meeting some of them in order to understand better their secrets. And finally, my dream was gonna come true. From Villa Simius, we drove for two hours to Seulo. This town is located in the mountains of southern Sardinia. Seulo is known to have the highest number of centenarians per capita, but it is also surrounded by some incredible natural sites and its people are extremely welcoming. Buongiorno! It's another day in Sardinia. We finished eating our breakfast and now we are on our way to the small village of Seulo. We have now reached the entrance going to Seulo. Are we going to the right direction, my love? Ask Google Maps. <laughs> there are no signs of other people. Hopefully we are in the right track. <laughs> 5.5 kilometers more. We are currently in the motorway to Seoul. <laughs> <laughs> We're not sure if we are on the right way. <laughs> We're just following Mr. Google Maps. Finally, we have arrived at the village of Seulo. Now, let's learn their secret on how to live 100 years. But not only 100 years, 100 good quality years. Let's go! I'm going to walk now because that's one of their secrets. Okay, I will, <laughs> use, the I will use the car. Bye. 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 Keep walking. Our first stop was a traditional cheese factory owned by a very friendly couple, Massimo and Michela. But before we tasted their local cheese, we experienced for the very first time the serenity of the countryside of Seulo. The air that we breathe and the weather have a huge impact in our health. We walked around quietly on the road, decorated with a huge variety of wildflowers while listening to the chirping of birds, goat bells, and breathing fresh air. We have arrived in our destination, but before we're gonna check in, we're going to visit a farm that makes cheese in a traditional way. Let's go eat some cheese! Massimo and Michela are the friendly owners of this cheese factory. Using almost the same traditional methods that shepherds have developed in Sardinia for centuries, they transform the milk in their artisan cheese in an ecological way with hard work and great passion. They are one of the main distributors of cheese in the village of Sayulo, but they also supply other restaurants and cheese shops in Italy and even abroad. The first thing that they did was to kindly offer us free espresso. 
we learned quickly that people in Sibulo are very generous. Really good. Secret for 100 years old. No, the secret is the cheese. La mia chiesta, questo è il segreto per cento anni, ho detto no, il segreto è il cheese. Afterwards, Massimo showed us his adorable flocks of goats that bring him milk for the production of cheese. He's saying they are like uh, dogs, like many dogs. <laughs> like, wow. so they all have a name. They How different... do you remember all the names? Come fate a ricordare tutti i nomi? No, vabbè, le vedi tutti giù. Lui ci riesce, io ne ricordo solo qualcuno. qualcuno. Le più belle. Sì, le più simpatiche. Anche perché la capra è un animale molto particolare. Nel senso che si fa coccolare, però so quando decide eh, lei. Sono tutte diverse, eh. hanno sono... tutte un carattere diverso. Back inside the factory, Michele explained to us the steps to produce the different types of cheese. Then it came to my favorite part, cheese tasting. We loved trying all their delicious cheese while Michele was explaining to us their special characteristics. The locals in Seulo eat a lot of seasonal vegetables and fruits that they plant themselves. They eat natural sources of proteins too, like cheese, legumes, or pork meat. And to my surprise, moderate consumption of their own local wine. And of course, olive oil. Hundred years old after eating this. <laughs> mm. They gave us a gift, as a free gift. Come here and buy their product because it's so good, and it will give you a long life. And they are super friendly. <laughs> They're very friendly. Do that to me later. My love, let's go. Let's, let's go here. to your stop. We've reached our B and B. Your destination is on the left. Before we started exploring the village of Seulo, we checked in at our B&B. The Agri Turismitici is a lovely countryside house. It is surrounded by nature with a lot of different trees and colorful flowering plants. One of the reasons why we chose this accommodation is because they have a lot of animals too. The owner has been really friendly. She offered us a better room. We're just eating a slight snack before exploring the town and also we're enjoying the view where there's no sound except for the birds, the distant cowbell ringing and the wind. I'm trying to be very poetic today. Poetic potato chips. We're gonna meet the pony. We're now going to the museum where they are going to explain to us about how the people live here until more than 100 years old and we just came from the cheese factory whatever they have already told us why they are living long are the same information that we've already learned from the book primate change and it all makes sense i really love michaela and massimo they were like a family already for us they are very welcoming they are 
so happy. You can feel the vibe that they are very um, happy people. It makes me feel like I've known them for a very long time. We were just laughing and it felt so light. I felt sad saying goodbye to them. We'll go back tomorrow. To we'll go back tomorrow to, to try to buy something. To buy. <laughs> Hopefully they will allow us to pay this time. Locals in Seulo don't pass two hours working out at the gym every day to stay fit, but they spend a lot of time outdoors walking up and down the hills every single day. Their main form of exercise is doing their daily chores, planting their own vegetables, taking care of their animals, and many more. We noticed many elder people walking up and down the streets. While we were looking for the Echo Museum, this helpful lady did not hesitate to show us the way. After meeting the friendly staff at the museum and explaining to them how we knew about their village, they invited us to get some coffee at a local bar. And once again, the locals did not let us pay. Afterwards, they brought us to meet the eldest man in Seulo. In order to not be too invasive, they advised us to casually encounter with him during his afternoon walk. Sebastiano. <laughs> Rain. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you. Cold hand. Cold hand? Oh, yes. Free day. I'm going to go to the Philippines. Si, si. Si, I'm going to go to the Philippines. I'm going to go to the Philippines. Married to Seula. Who get married with a man? Oh! Guardate, sono infermiera, Issa. E ho lì di comprendere, anziché da sagura e malattia, sa? Come ti dà sprevenire, comprendi? Non si scia. E sa andrebbe alla con i spippi, su voi? Non si scia, mi ti prevenire. Non era sa verità, che tu immagina se non ti dica, sa? Non è già da pubblicare. Perfetti candidati. Lì sa che noi non sappiamo come prevenire l'illness. But uh, it doesn't take pills, okay? So oh. Meeting Luigi was such an amazing privilege. At his age, Luigi is still very healthy and independent. He does not need eyeglasses nor hearing aid. His memory is as sharp as a razor too. Although I could not understand Luigi directly, as I looked at him, it made me see the marks of life experiences and a century of gained wisdom. When Luigi went home, we were impressed watching him walking up the hill with ease. We will never forget the time we spent with him. Before we had our dinner, we walked a little bit more around the streets of Seulo. Then we visited their local church. I was quietly sitting down when I noticed some locals decorating the church. Elder and middle-aged women, and also kids ages between 4 to 10 years old, were working harmoniously together. They were all talking to each other positively and with respect. This shows a very strong sense of community. Some of the locals told us that they take care and support each other. This is the kind of village where everyone knows and treat others like a family. back to the bar to use their toilet and then as soon as we arrived inside one of the men offered a drink immediately if you've been following us you know that I don't drink alcohol so with just one glass of beer 
I am a little bit tipsy now, but they are so friendly. Even if um, they don't know us, they keep offering us everything for free and they won't allow us to pay. One of the guys also offered another glass of beer for us, but we had to refuse. Yeah, because uh, I booked the dinner already and we don't want to be late. So sadly we have to refuse. But she's already drunk. Ubriacon. <laughs> We could not leave Seulo without trying their local dishes. After all, we wanted to know what do they usually eat. Aside from the fact that they eat a lot of seasonal vegetables and legumes, they also eat pork meat. But what makes their meat different is how their pigs were raised. They freely roam and eat acorn and other natural foods found in the forest. They constantly use extra virgin olive oil too. Another secret to long life. And of course, moderate amount of red wine. The keyword is moderate. Sorry about that, I fainted just a little bit because it's so good. I'm already full, but I have to eat this. And I think this is my favorite. Pork chops. When we were ready to pay and leave, two gentlemen talked to Chano. They were Andrea, the owner of the restaurant, and Enrico, the mayor of Seulo. After explaining to them why we're visiting Seulo, they asked us to sit down with them and offered us wine and cheese. We immediately felt how passionate they are about their village, and we really enjoyed our conversation with them. Grazie mille di tutto, Seulo. I love here. You should come visit. You should come visit Seulo because you will enjoy. It's more than just a beautiful place, but it's the people. I love the people. I love all the people who live in Seulo. And she loves the wine too. That's <laughs> Mila. <laughs> At sunrise, Chano went out to capture some shots over Seulo while I was cozily sleeping. The Naragi are ancient megalithic edifices found exclusively on the island of Sardinia. These stone structures have become one of the symbols of Sardinia and its distinctive culture known as the Nuragic Civilization that ruled the island between 1900 and 730 BC. Luigi told us that there are almost 8,000 Nuragi scattered all around the island. Chano checked it in Google and, of course, Luigi was right. Archaeologists haven't found out the exact functions of these structures, but it is believed that they were either the homes of rulers or military strongholds or perhaps religious temples. So you're the fire, you're the flare, you're the song inside my head. And I will taste every note, feel so good when you're in my head. We were supposed to leave Seulo after breakfast, but yesterday we were convinced by the locals and the mayor to visit one of the most beautiful sites in the area. So now let's go and do some hiking and we'll show you Sastidiosa. We came back to Massimo and Michaela's cheese factory to buy two kinds of cheese. We came today because we want them to be more fresh so that we can eat them during our trip. Here we have the traditional cheese for the shepherds and the sweet ricotta. Their sweet ricotta is really good with bread.
let's go. Hey, fun! <laughs> we noticed that Sardinians love to chat and gossip at the park, at the local bar, or just on the street. They live life slowly, focusing on the present and the community. Just like what Massimo had said, these people did not aim to live long until 100 years old. They live every day, focusing on their daily tasks, and it just happened. Nowadays, we call this mindfulness. We are living in a fast-paced world where everyone seems to be busy and preoccupied with hundreds of things to do, which in the end causes us unnecessary overstress. The locals in Seulo also feel tired. Working on a farm, for example, is not an easy job. It requires a lot of hard work and patience. Michaela told us that working outdoors surrounded by nature helps them to relieve stress. In the book Primate Change, the writer mentioned the importance of vitamin D but also vitamin N. N stands for nature. When we spend time in nature, it gives us positive effects on our health and this goes hand in hand with sunlight exposure. Sastidiosa, which literally means dripping water. We had never seen a similar natural spectacle like this. A unique place that transported us to our past trips to tropical countries. This is really a magical location and we felt so happy to follow the locals' advice to visit it. That ends the second episode of our Sardinia travel series. Thank you so much for joining us. We are now leaving Seulo. I feel very, very sad because the locals made us feel very welcome. It's very heartwarming how they treated us, how they interacted with us. I feel like they are my family now. <laughs> I'm gonna miss Luigi. We've okay. learned so many valuable lessons. It's more than just eating a healthy diet, being physically active, but most importantly, the community takes care of each other. They look after each other. It's really, really beautiful to see it with our own eyes. So if you want to have a different experience, visit Seulo because the locals will surely make you feel very welcome. And also there are many beautiful sites. See you in our next destination! Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel to help us grow and create more travel content. Also, comment down below if you know other secrets to long life. Stay tuned for our next episode because we will share with you more incredible places in the island of Sardinia, including a beach that is considered by many as the most beautiful in Italy. Until next time, keep exploring, rain or shine.